With GMK Tech's K11 Mini PC, we've been given the most important update of all, RGB. Okay, what else is new? A couple of things. There's a new CPU and an improvement in an important area that didn't get enough love. You can never get enough love, am I right? Design-wise, the K11 follows the other GMK Tech Mini PCs from late 2024. A metal case, twistable top translucent lid, which also doubles up as a viewing window to all that RGB, and one of the most satisfying to press buttons around. Thought I'd mention it once again just for good measure, because I have nothing else to look forward to. Inside is AMD's previous gen flagship, the Ryzen 9 8945HS. 8 cores, 16 threads with Radeon 780M graphics. Something we've gone over a bunch of times already, but we're doing it all again. Each of the recent GMK Tech Minis with this design all include similar ports. Once again, Oculink is included, allowing for the fastest external GPU support. Next to that is a USB 4 port, dual USB 3 10 gigabit, 3.5mm audio jack, and that lovely power button. Hidden inside from prying eyes is an Intel Wi-Fi 6 AX200 chip for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. The back of the Mini has dual USB 2, DisplayPort and HDMI 2.1 supporting up to 8K 60Hz. There's also dual Intel 2.5 Gigabit LAN and another USB 4. Both USB 4 ports support power and display and worked fine with my USB-C monitor. I prefer to shove it in the back instead of the front and the K11 caters for both positions. That did not come out right. This Mini is available on the official website as a barebones starting at $480 US dollars or you can get it as a pre-build with a double storage option on offer as well. Amazon.com only has the pre-builds available with a 1TB model starting at $600 US after the coupon. The same accessories are included as previous Minis including a mounting plate and HDMI. Although this time a larger power brick is used over the compact one seen in the previous reviews. Oh, just break my heart will you? Okay then. Let's take a look inside, is what a certain type of doctor would say. And as mentioned earlier, this mini opens with a twist. Then four screws, lift the top section while watching out for the fan cable, and we're in, is what a certain type of doctor would say. Dual Gen 4 M.2 slots are included. One is occupied by the crucial Gen 4 OS drive in the pre-build, which has a heatsink on it, and it's also cooled by the RGB fan, as is the DDR5 5600 RAM. There's also an M.2 wireless card that's replaceable or upgradable. Windows 11 Pro is included. It's malware-free like every GMK Tech Mini tested so far. However, you can use Linux. My quick and dirty Ubuntu test off a USB show that everything worked just fine. Alright, let's see how the K11 stacks up against the other two Ryzen 8945HS minis reviewed already. Single core Cinebench came back with a low score, but with less than 20 points separating them, it means very little. Multicore often shows larger differences, and at the default balance profile on the BIOS, the K11 is again slightly behind the two other 8945HS minis. It gets closer with its performance profile, but Cinebench shows that the UM890 Pro is still the winner here. Geekbench Single Core is a shorter test, and the K11 does really well. In Multicore, again, it's behind the other two minis tested by under 5%. So that's the synthetics. Here's an actual multi-core test using Handbrake to encode video, and it shows pretty much the same thing, slightly behind by a few percent at worst. The long AV1 encoding test has the 8945HS minis shifting places, but with performance mode, it was actually the K11 that took the win. If we switch the AV1 encoding to the integrated graphics, the K11 performs like the best 8945HS result. And speaking of graphics, let's move on to 3 Mark DX11. And nothing out of the ordinary here. It's scoring around what the other minis with the Radeon 780M iGPU are doing. Same with DX12 TimeSpy. And Steel Nomad. So everything's fine on the integrated graphics front. With an Oculink and USB 4 port, this mini is ready for those wanting to be able to game or use it as a workstation with an external GPU. 
The extra 50% or so bandwidth over USB 4 provides large gains in frame rate. I tested the K11 using the OCU-P4 V2 Oculink dock and an RTX 4070 Super. It worked great with all the GMK Tech Minis, including this one. I'll link it in the video description if you're interested. Oh, and this Mini supports resizable bar over the Oculink and USB 4 port. This will especially come in handy for those wanting to use Intel Arc graphics cards with their Mini for the best performance result. GMK Tech will also be releasing their own AMD Radeon 7600M Oculink and USB 4 eGPU soon, known as the ADGP1 if you don't want to put an eGPU together with a power supply and GPU. Or you can ignore the Oculink port completely and use the integrated graphics instead. Even at 1080p higher settings, it's doing pretty well with a bunch of esports games. Although the frame rate tanks with Counter-Strike 2 when the detail is maxed out. Drop the settings to low and you'll get around triple the frame rate. Older AAA games will run pretty well at 1080p low. While recent releases will need FSR upscaling to get a solid 30fps frame rate. You can also run various emulators without much issue. For the audio latency test, all cores are stressed with Cinebench and then latency mon is run to see if it's still able to keep the latency down. Various minis have failed, but this one passes. Nice. Video editing on an 8945HS is a pretty good experience, but as a reminder, the best experience can be found on Intel based minis, even with their inferior gaming graphics performance. Now we're moving on to the remaining metrics. 3D Max Storage Benchmark came back with a high score for the K11. It has the fastest performing SSD benchmark so far in a mixed read write situation. And thermal wise, 58C is fine for the maximum drive temp. It's unlikely to thermal throttle. Something all the newly designed GMK Tech Minis have done poorly is in wireless and Bluetooth range. I'm hesitant to say it's been fixed since I didn't see any changes inside, but this Mini did fine in Bluetooth and also wireless where the others failed. The wireless test being at 12 meters or 39 feet from the router using the 5G band. No network problem notifications popped up in a full game session of Valorant. So that's a nice change. Idle power draw from the wall of 10 watts is average and maximum power draw depends on which power mode you use. The default balance mode used less power than expected. Maximum CPU temp is a bit above average in both power modes. It's not the quietest mini at idle due to its dual fan design, but it holds up pretty well under load in balance mode. Shifting to performance is quite a bit noisier. I don't think it's worth the trade-off. But not everyone despises fan noise as much as I do. Oh, and the dimensions of the Mini remain unchanged from the previous couple of GMK Tech reviews. As you can see, it takes up more volume than most. Mashing the delete key on startup will get you into the BIOS. On the main screen is the performance profile setting. Head to advanced and you'll find wake on LAN and auto power on. GFX configuration allows you to set the VRAM size. It's 3GB by default. 4GB should be fine for 1080p low gaming. In AMD CBS SMU common options, you can set the power mode manually. And hardware monitor lets you mess with the fan curve. So with all that out of the way, we come to the pros and cons. 
GMK Tech's K11 has a nice metal case, plenty of ports, including Oculink, is easy to open, and wireless issues seem to have been fixed over the last two units, although a sample size of one is not enough to confirm. However, fan noise under performance mode is not great. The RGB lighting can't be turned off, and the large power supply is back again. Overall, GMK Tech's K11 is not the quietest or fastest mini PC out there, but it does a lot of things right and has an impressive feature set, while being one of the lower priced offerings. Find it in the video description if you're interested, and if you're looking for something lower priced with less performance but still has Oculink, check out the review of the GMK Tech M7 Pro Mini PC right here. Cheers!